Hey guys, good morning and uh, thanks for joining me today. I'm Spagiver, this is Spagiver Backpacking, and I am in my tent where I got another another cold night in uh, in the tent on the ground with a new sleeping pad. And so that's what we're here to talk about is this sleeping pad I'm laying on. That one. So I'm gonna get some coffee going. We'll come back and talk. So let's go. Welcome back. I now have some uh, some coffee, so things are looking up. So I wanted to talk with you this weekend about this new Exped Down Mat UL Winter LW. So ultra light, but it's not really that light. Uh, we'll talk about the weight in a minute, but I got the LW, which is the long wide version. I'm laying on it right now, and it is really, really comfortable and really warm. So this thing measures in at at 77.6 inches long, 25.6 inches wide, and three and a half inches thick, which is nice because I flip flop around when I'm on the ground, when I'm not in my hammock, uh, and so side sleeping. The the difference between this one and the last pad that I was using is that my hip is not hitting the ground. So I'm not waking up sore. I'm waking up comfortable, having slept well, and man, is this thing warm. So it's a down mat, so it is insulated with down. It has a baffle up at the top that keeps all of the down from migrating out of its specific air chamber. Um, and you can feel that when it is deflated. It's it's like a strip of probably like something like climate shield or something that's that's stuffed in there uh, and you can feel it but you can kind of shift the down around a little bit and and keep it where you want it but the uh, man, this thing is just super comfortable it has vertical baffles not horizontal not like a any weave pattern or anything it's horizontal or, or vertical going the length of your body and to me, it has worked out really, really well. The two side chambers are just slightly larger to kind of keep you in the middle, to keep you there. And it has worked really well. So I've now gotten a handful of nights, four or five nights in this thing. Nights down to the teens, the mid to, to lower teens. Last night was another night in the low 20s and I have not gotten cold at all on this. Yes, when you when you first lay on it or you move around, you may hit a spot that's not warmed up from your body, but it warms up extremely quickly and then stays warm. Uh, it isn't one of those where you're laying in the same spot and you start getting a chill, not at all. This thing is rated down to, I believe, negative 25.9 degrees. I'll check the spec on that, but I believe that's what it is. Okay, I looked and it's negative 25.6 degrees uh, with an R value of 7.0. So it's a, a very warm sleeping pad. So I'm gonna finish up my coffee, and then I'll bring you inside, let you take a look at it, and see how it works, see how it fits in this uh, this big Agnes Copper Spur. HV UL1 that I've got here. You'll see that it's a, a big sleeping pad, but man, is it comfy. Oh yeah, and the weight. The weight on it is 30.5 ounces, and then it's another two ounces if you're gonna carry the schnozzle bag, which I highly recommend. I'll show you how the schnozzle bag works. So for me, it was really important to find that right sleeping pad, the one that was comfortable enough, I could sleep through the night, warm enough that I wasn't getting cold, packable enough that I could carry it, light enough 
that it wasn't too big a burden. Um, and that's why I went with this Exped Winter UL down mat. Um, it is not the lightest at 30 and a half ounces, but for me, carrying that little extra weight uh, really does make a big difference in comfort. And if I'm able to sleep and I'm able to get up and hike and hike strong the next day, that is a, a big part of it for me. And so that's why I actually am pleased with this purchase. It might actually make going to a tent on certain trips, which I have one coming up, um, not too bad. Pretty bearable. Um, but anyway, just wanted to, to let you guys know, this is a very, very comfortable sleeping pad. I've slept on, on several. I've got a big Agnes. I've got, uh, I had the climate one, um, had thermo rest through the year, through the years. Uh, and this one by far is the most comfortable sleeping pad I've ever, I've ever used. And, and definitely, um, the warmest and it's noticeable while you're laying on it, while you're sleeping, the, the warmth that comes through. One of the things I am going to start doing as I'm using the tent is uh, the top of my quilt, since I use a quilt and not a sleeping bag, uh, I'm using the same quilt in here that I use in my hammock. In the hammock, uh, everything kind of wraps up around you and, and kind of keeps things in place. What I did notice is that when sleeping in the tent on the pad, um, because I just have the quilt draped over me, drafts will come down. If it's windy, drafts will get inside. And so I'm going to start using the the snaps on the the top of the the quilt, snapping it behind me, and then cinching it up a little bit to try and use that draft collar right there to uh, to prevent the drafts coming in and coming down. And that should keep me warmer, uh, keep it more like a, a sleeping bag that would be closed up around me. So I'm going to give that a shot, let you guys know how that works out. But I think. I think that's going to be effective and uh, a good a good way to go. All right, so let's take a good look at this sleeping bed. Okay, so I've got the door and vestibule opened up, so we can take a look inside and take a look at this uh, this sleeping pad and see how much it fills up this copper spur. So if we come inside, you can see on the head end. You've got a little bit of room there, but not a lot. And then as you go down through, looking at the foot end, it is about side to side. And there's about two inches below it there, and maybe four inches above it here. About six inches on either side towards the head. But that is uh, pretty much a full, full tent with this sleeping pad. All right, so I'm sitting on it right now, and immediately the warmth, I can feel it under my butt. This thing is uh, exactly what I was looking for. It's gonna keep me warm, it's uh, comfortable, it's got the right amount of uh, thickness so that I don't bottom out when I'm laying on my side. So sitting on it right now, I have it uh, deflated enough that it's really comfortable laying on my back, laying on my side, laying on my stomach. But when you sit on it and you have one point, I am sinking through. Now, if I put my hands out and just kind of offset that a little bit, it raises me up off of the ground. But when you lay on it, that's not a problem at all. Even a pressure point of the hip, because you have other body weight on there, keeps you up off of there. Um, I'm really impressed with it. So let's take a look at the schnozzle bag that comes with it and how that works. Okay, so I have flipped the sleeping pad over, so I'm now sitting on the bottom side of it. And the texture is just a little bit different. It's a little bit slipperier on the bottom side, and it has a little bit of a texture that locks locks you in when you're uh, sitting on top of it. So this is the stuff sack that it comes in. You can see it, it tells you the sizes, all that stuff right there. Um, it's got the same pattern as you see on the top of the pad. And then inside it has a little pouch that has a repair kit. So pretty cool, comes with a repair kit, a lot of them do. Now one of the things that this comes with is the schnozzle bag. Now I've mentioned that before, what is the schnozzle bag? So it is this yellow 
schnozzle pump bag. And so it has one end that opens up and can be rolled over and clipped and used as a dry bag. On the bottom, it's got this little appendage that sticks out that has a valve cover on there. And when you open it up, this fits into the inflation valve on the uh, sleeping pad. So the sleeping pad has two valves. It has an inflate and a deflate. So let's take a look at those. Okay, here you can see you have an inflate valve which has a little tab on there just so that you know which one it is. And then you have a deflate valve. So if I was to open this right now, instantly air just rushes out real easy. It's got just a wide open hole right there. Uh, so you can see it just will deflate no problem whatsoever. If I was to close this up, there we go, snap it back on, closed up. This is the inflate side and it has a one-way valve. And what's cool about that is you can use the schnozzle valve, air it up, take the schnozzle valve off, and it's not going to leak air out of here. So let's see how that works. Okay, so I've got the schnozzle bag here and you know, it just is a stuff sack. But when you have the end closed, so I'm gonna close, close the little valve, put the cap on, and I'm gonna take it, open it up, and just run it through the air, then roll the top, and now I have an airtight bag that's got air in there. We'll connect this to the inflate side and air it up. All right, you can see here, it's pretty deflated. I've got the valve open, so all I need to do here is just open this up, stick this in here, and now the air that I've got in here, I just simply squeeze it into the pad. And that's enough there to fill it back up, pull the schnozzle out, and there you can see we've got a fully inflated pad once again. And then if you need to make any adjustments, you can open up the inflate side, tap this, it'll let out small little bits, close it up, and ready to sleep on it. So there you go guys, this is my Exped Down Mat Winter UL Long Wide. It is super comfortable, it is super warm. If you guys are interested in a winter lightweight, it's a, it's a 30 to 32 ounces depending on what you bring with it, but semi lightweight, really warm, and uh, comfortable. If that's what you're looking for, check out the Exped stuff. I know there are some other brands out there that have some amazing stuff as well. This one is one I've now proven to myself is, uh, is a keeper. So thanks guys, I appreciate you joining me. I will see you guys down the trail.